All right, what's up, guys? Resurrect here, bringing you another video. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, set up your virtual audio cable, um, specifically for DX Tori, if you use that to record, and how to uh, how to set it up in your your uh, your audio. Now, in this version, I'm, you're not going to use the repeater. I found the repeater really for my computer. My computer, I'm not gonna say it's the best, but it's 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 good. But it's like it's an average PC for any average gamer. And then if you want to record your audio to split your vent or your Skype or your what have you for your DX story, I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, first and foremost, you need to get the um virtual audio cable. Uh you go to the website, just go to Google, type it in and you buy the twenty five twenty version and then you'll get the zip file and you'll get this. Now once you uh once you download this and get this, what you want to do is you want to run the setup. Once you run the setup, you want to restart your computer. Now once you restart your computer, uh you'll need to depending on your uh if you run 64-bit or if you run 32-bit. If you run 32-bit, you're going to be using this file. If you run 64-bit, you're going to be using this file, And which in case I use 64-bit. Um, these uh, are the two repeaters that I was talking about that we are not going to be using. Uh, like I said, it lags my computer when I'm recording, and it's a hassle because uh, in other videos, they'll tell you that you have to run it all the time for the cables to work which is true if you do not have the repeaters working you're not gonna have sound or you won't be able to uh, you won't be able to hear stuff in your video or you won't be able to hear stuff yourself it, and it's it's really a pain in the ass so I I'm, I was looking for the past couple days for a way to get around that so I don't have to start this every single time I'm playing something or keep it running and um, I've actually found that so that's what I'm gonna show you but uh like I said, once you open up this file and after it, you you do your setup and you restart your computer, you want to open up this and um, you'll have these this pop up. I have the most recent version as of this video, and um, if you you can look at my settings, um, I have not messed with any of this whatsoever. None of this I've messed with, um, and none of this I've messed with. The only thing I've touched is uh, when you download it, uh, like I did, I only had one cable and I had to add in cable. It just went up to two. That's all we're going to be working with is two cables. Simple, clean, and easy so you don't not go into someone's video and not like I've seen they have like six cables or five cables and that's extremely confusing. And trust me, I sat here for three days trying to figure out uh, that's why you haven't seen the uploads uh, this thus far but I've tried to big figure this out so when I'm in Vent with my friends I can um record them on a separate channel so they can be in the commentary or the live stream or the live commentary if I want them to be now if I'm recording a game and say you're recording a game and man you're getting some awesome awesome footage like I don't know which you're playing Call of Duty or Battlefield or what have you and then you're playing and you're getting all, all this all this stuff's going on you're doing really good and then BAM you're in Vent or in Skype and someone just screams for no reason they die in a game or they they get some good some good kill streak or something I don't know but they scream or they do something or their mom yells at them or their wife yells at them what have you and you're like man you just messed up my whole clip because because you screamed at it well this is gonna help you ex a lot so like I said you add a cable and then uh, what I had to do I didn't restart my computer after the setup so it said that I couldn't I didn't have the admin privileges which I do on my computer so I had to restart my computer and you add a cable and then once you do that like I said uh, I haven't touched any of these settings um, you may want to you may not want to but I haven't but after you've done that you're done with this you're, yeah, you exit you're finished um, and then you were finished with this file you might want to save the the uh, uh, the raw file like I have just in case and uh, don't delete it I wouldn't delete it um, but you can put that aside for now now what you want to do this is the most important part if you want to hear stuff uh, you go to your playback devices right click playback devices now this is what you're gonna be looking at now with my setup 
I have my speakers and my headset through the same back port on my computer. Um, uh, there's an audio port on the back. I uh, would assume everyone on the, uh, has one. Now, I have a splitter coming out. I have a, a male that goes in, like your headphones or your speakers, and then now that comes out the two. So I have my speakers in one and my headphones in the other. I do this so if I want to listen to my speakers, I just turn my headset down, put it down, turn the speakers up. Or vice versa, if I'm playing a game and I don't want the whole house to hear it, I can just turn off the speakers, turn up my, my headset, and I'm done. It's really easy for me to do that. So, um, this is, uh, th just listen and whatever you use the most, you want to set. Uh, do you use your speakers a lot when you game? Are you just game, that's it? You use only speakers, that's fine, use those. If you use a headset and you don't even use your speakers, then use your headset. But um, after you restart your computer uh, and you enable the two cables, you'll have line one and line two, and then you'll have your speakers and your headset if you have a headset. But like I said, I have two and one, so my speakers count as both my headset and my speakers. Um, you want to set this as your default communications device, and then you want to set line one as your default device. This means that all your audio on your computer is going to go through line one. Everything to your game. Uh, your game, your YouTube videos, whatever you're streaming is going to go to line one. Line two, you do not touch on this uh, this tab. Playback, you do not use. Now, once you have that set, you want to go to recording. Now, as you can tell, I'm recording through my microphone. So, uh, you, you keep that your default device, and you keep that your default communications device. Now, on this page, this is probably the most important part. You want to right click line one, go to properties, and then you go to listen. Now I have listened to this device ticked, and then I have listened through my speakers. This means that all my audio, all my in game audio, my YouTube videos, whatever I'm watching or listening to, goes through line one, and then my speakers is listening to line one, which means I can hear everything that line one's picking up. So I can listen to my game, I can listen to my. YouTube videos or streams or movies or what have you through my headset my speakers like normally which you want now after you have that you click OK or apply and OK line 2 now this is going to be for your communications as in your separate line to vent Skype what have you uh, you want to go to listen and like I said you do the same thing listen to this advice and then speakers this means that now with line one and line two through your speakers you can hear your Skype, your vent, your game, your videos all in one speaker like you normally would if your speakers were your default device so that's all you have to do it's that simple I've been like I said I've been looking I've researched this for three or four days now and it's just been irritating me that I couldn't find it so I am making a video very simple for you guys that's all you have to do um, with this part now like I said your line 2 is going to be your Skype and your vent so after you have that set which I just did you click OK apply OK now you want to go into your Skype you click setup and once you go into your setup you want to choose your output device as line 2 so all your vent uh, sounds will go to line 2 which is a totally different line than line 1 so when you're recording all your game audio will go to line one, and then when uh, if you're recording with Vent up or Skype and people are talking, all the audio out of Vent or Skype will go to line two, which is a totally different channel, and it won't be on your game track or your. Uh, I'll, I have it up in uh, Vegas right now, and I'll show you that in a second. But that's what you want to do, and in Skype it's the same thing. I don't have Skype up. What you do, you go into Skype, you go into like uh, Skype settings, and then line two again that's all you do or if you're using uh, TeamSpeak or Razor comms or any kind of a uh, BOIP you want to use your line two now with that said I had a few issues with it at first and you may or may not have those issues um, if you do then you're gonna want to do the same thing I did if you don't good for you um, but when I put my line two as my default I could talk and I could hear my game fine 
but when others talked to me through vent, they sounded like a robot-ish. It sounded really distorted and really bad. Now, I worked on that for a good through last night, through this morning, and today, and what I found out is what worked for me was restarting my computer so my computer would recognize line 2 as a main line and a main audio uh, channel. So that worked for me. Um, if it doesn't work for you, you may want to play around with it a bit. Keep your settings in your um, in your playback devices and your recording the same because what you've done here is correct. What you want to do is you want to play around with your vent or like I said, hopefully all you need to do is restart your computer, which I did and it works perfectly. Now, like I said, once you've done that, um, you want to go, if uh, I'm using DX Satori, um, that's what I use to record. So if you do, then you can, uh, if you're using Fraps, Fraps only uses one channel, is like your line one for everything. So if you're recording gameplay, um, or if you want to start using uh, recording gameplay, use DX Satori. Um, it is so good. I'll make another video about that, how to set up DX Satori and how to record games like I do. Um, if, uh, if need be, and, uh, if my subscribers want, to, um, want me to, but that's beyond the point, point. like I said, I'll make that in another video, but, uh, what you want to do is you want to go to your audio tab in DX Satori, and I have three, three channels, I have my microphone, I have my line one, and then I have my line two, now, pay attention to which line one, line two you pick, now, if you pick line two, if it comes up with this, you're not on the right line. Now if you pick line 2 right here, it's gone. That's the one line tune you want to use. The same thing for line 1. You do not want the one that says volume. That's not the right line 1. I don't know why it has that. It doubles them, but these are the ones you want to use. Um, Like I said, this is going to be your game audio, line 1. This is going to be your microphone if you're talking. I don't use a push to talk. I use it like Xbox or PSN, so I can just, I feel, I'm more comfortable with that. So I don't have to push any buttons when I'm in a game. So I don't use push talk. If you do, you might want to set up your keys right in your vent, your Skype, and this too. And then your line, uh, your channel three would be your line two, which would be your vent. So you have your vent on one track, your line one on one track, and then your mic on one track. Now once you've recorded something and everything, this is what it's going to look like in Vegas. I don't know what it, it should look like this in any other program, but this is what it's going to look like in Vegas. You got your video on your main track, which is right here, your video. Then how I have it set up, because like I said, I, let's uh, go back. I have my line one and line two. So my mic is this for some reason. Yeah, because I have my mic first. Mm, let's go back and check. Yes, I have my mic first, then the game, then my my uh Skype audio, my vent audio. So you might want to switch this up to where line one, then mic, then your vent. I mean, it doesn't really matter which order they're in. They're just going to be in different orders on the track. So I have the video, my mic, then the game sound, and then my uh vent sound. Now I'm going to play this for you. This may be a bit loud, but I'm going to show you which track is which. So that's my mic. I'm gonna turn that all the way down, and this is my vent. Then this is the game. So what? See, you only hear the game. Now, if I pause this, turn this down, turn this up, and let's get to a part where we're talking. Hmm. This should they should be okay, well. Yeah. See. They're talking in but the uh, invent. So if I turn that down and then turn mine up, you should be able to hear me talk. Oh, well, that's my my mic should listen to this. Episode. Whoa, what are you doing? Yeah, see, you can hear me talk. Um, this video I plan on putting up on the channel. I'm gonna break it up, but anyway, that's how you set up virtual audio cable. Um, if you have any questions, post in the comments. Um. And I'll try to answer them as best as I can, but I hope this is a very simplified version for whoever needs this. This is for, like I said, a lot of people and more specifically gamers that are recording and want to split their audio. Um, and uh, like I said, 
leave your comments uh like the video please because like i said it took me a few days to figure this out and i wanted to help you guys out with this so like the video please and then um i'll catch you guys in the next video